from 4 chapter 4 indices, search and logarithm. This is the last subtopic of this chapter. Okay, let's go to the example one. Solve the following simultaneous equation. So this is a Kebab question. It combines chapter 3 and chapter 4. From these two index, we want to find out two linear equations. So from this, we can know that 3 power of x plus y is equals to 2 power 3 is equals to 3 power of 5. So since the base is the same, I can write that x plus y is equals to 5. This is the first linear equation. This one, I can change it become 2 power of 2x minus 5y is equals to 2 power of 3. 2 power of 3 is equals to 8. So I can say that since the base is the same, I can say that 2x minus 5y is equals to 3. This is the second equation. From the first equation, I can change it become x equals to 5 minus y. Okay, then I substitute the x equals to 5 minus y into the second equation. Okay, substitute x equals to 5 minus y into the second equation. So, 2 5 minus y minus 5y equals to 3. 2 times 5 equals to 10. Minus 2y minus 5y equals to 3. Here you will get minus 7y equals to minus 7. And then y you will be getting 1. So after you get your y value, you substitute into here. You will get your x value is equals to 4. So you can make the conclusion. x is equals to 4. y is equals to 1. Example 2, Mr. Lin deposit 5,000 in a mutual trust fund which promises an interest of 7.5% compound annually. The amount RMY at the end of the T years is this. Find the number of years it takes for the amount for money to first exit 20,000. Okay, before we start to do the question, we need to understand what the question asks. Okay, this one, this person, Mr. Lin, deposit 5,000 into a mutual trust fund and it promised every year it will give him a 7.5% of interest. Okay, after 3 years, that means after 5 years or after 6 years, it follow this equation. If after 6 years, you apply the T equals to 6 year, then you know you will get how many money here. Okay, but the question asks, how many years it takes for the amount to first exit 20,000? Okay, so I will write like this, 5,000, 1.075 T. I need to know what is the T when this one can get more than 20,000. Okay, 1.075 power of T, 20,000 divided by 5,000, you will get 4. Okay, so I will log both sides. I will get log 1.075 T more than log 4. So I will use the best 10 here. Now I can move the t to in front. t log 10 1.075 is more than log 10 4. Okay? So t, I can get the value of log 10 4 over log 10 1.075 which is equals to 19.168. Okay, for me to get more than 20,000, I must wait until more than 19.168 years. Okay, so that means I have to wait for 20 years. After 20 years, my 5,000 will become 20,000. Okay, example 3, the diagram shows a square ABCD with an area of XCM square. Determine the parameter in CM of the square ABCD. Write your answer in third form. Okay, let one of the length of the side is x, okay? Which means x power of 2, x times x is equals to 8, okay? Because this is the area, okay? So that means one side of the square ABCD is square root of 8, okay? So now, the question is want us to find the perimeter. Perimeter means 4x. Okay, because they've got 4 sides, isn't it? So it's 4x. This means 4 square root of 8. Okay, but square root of 8, I can change it become 8 divided by 2. I can get 4 here. Divide by 2 again, I can get a 2 here. 
So square root of eight, I can write it become two square root of two, which is eight square root of two cm. Finally, I have finished this chapter. Hope my sharing is helpful for you. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye.